Season 8 is coming. HBO dropped the first big trailer for the new and final season of Game of Thrones. And while it may only be two minutes long, there's a lot going on that you might have missed. Here's a closer look at what you can expect to see on April 14th. The season premiere will take place at Winterfell, with Danny and Jon arriving with the Unsullied, in a scene meant to mirror Season 1, Episode 1, and the Baratheon arrival. The wildlings and small folk are watching from the sidelines. The last time we saw them, they were helping the Night's Watch man the wall at East Watch. The little boy watching mirrors Bran from Season 1. Jon is also standing at the Weirwood Tree. Ned was there in Season 1, Episode 1, talking to Catelyn. The Weirwood Tree is also where Jon made his Night's Watch vows in Season 1. And this scene with Danny and Jon mirrors the conversation Robert and Ned had in front of Lyanna's crypt. Much of the trailer shows what appears to be a major battle with the White Walkers. It opens with Arya running through Winterfell. She says, I know death. He has many faces. A reference to the many-faced god whom she's been training with throughout the series. The right side of her face is bloodied, as well as her chest. So she appears to be wounded and is running from someone or something which we can assume to be the Whites or the White Walkers. Of course, the blood may not be her own, since she gets splattered here. Since we know the Night King can raise the dead, will he raise the dead Starks to help battle the live ones? What else could spark such fear in Arya, who rarely ever gets scared or cries? I look forward to seeing this one. She's holding a new dagger that appears to be made of dragonglass. In this shot, we see a very frightened Varys, hiding in the Winterfell crypts. We know it's the crypt since there's a Stark statue in the back, next to a direwolf. Also in the background is Gilly, with her baby. This scene is likely a reference to the Helm's Deep battle from the Lord of the Rings, The Two Towers, where women and children hid inside while the battle raged on outside. Meanwhile, Sam is seen here, talking to Bran. Sam will likely be the one to tell Jon about his true parentage. The last time we saw Euron Greyjoy, he was on his way to Essos at Cersei's command to fetch the Golden Company. My hand, Kyburn, has made overtures to the Golden Company in Essos. The Golden Company is a group of mercenaries that have been mentioned multiple times throughout the series. Here we see the Golden Company aboard the Greyjoy fleet, led by this man, Harry Strickland, played by actor Mark Rissman. Some of the crew is also carrying barrels. Could these be filled with wildfire? which the Lannisters have used in the past to take out their enemies. Next, we have a quick shot of two men we assumed had died. Beric Dondarrion and Tormund Giantsbane. The last time we saw them, they were atop the wall, moments before the Night King burned it down with a White Walker version of Viserion. A line in the script from this episode proved they got out alive, but we didn't actually see them until now. Here, Cersei is flanked by the Mountain, now a zombie, and Master Kyburn, who reanimated him. The three appear to be at King's Landing, looking over Blackwater Bay. Cersei could be smiling at the arrival of Euron and the Golden Company, but there's a chance he may try to betray her. The two remaining dragons, Rhaegal and Drogon, arrive at Winterfell, and we see both Sansa's and Arya's reaction to seeing them for the first time. In one shot, the dragons are finishing a recent meal, we know that because the snow is melted and there's a pile of bones. And John and Danny approach them. With their heads down, it looks like they're about to mount them. John on Rhaegal and Danny on Drogon. Since Rhaegal was named after Rhaegar Targaryen, John's father. The last time we saw Gendry, the last remaining Baratheon, he was at Eastwatch after sprinting back from the wall. Here he is once again, possibly at Winterfell helping to forge weapons out of dragonglass to fight the White Walkers. Since he's a Baratheon, will he ultimately sit on the Iron Throne? Speaking of weapons, in Season 7, Samwell stole his father's sword. It's called Heart's Pain. Which is made of Valerian steel. In the trailer, it looks like he has given this sword to Jorah. Missandei and Grey Worm are seen kissing as he heads off to battle with the Unsullied. Will this be the last time they see each other? Brienne and Podrick are also at Winterfell, and this scene might show her killing a white. Clearly something has caught fire during the battle, 
Jamie is also on the Winterfell rooftops, screaming, run. Arya makes it up there and is fighting whites with a spear, and the Hound, who is deathly afraid of fire, also appears amongst the flames. While sitting on the Iron Throne, Cersei is speaking with two people, one of whom appears to be Euron. The trailer also hints at some news about Cersei. In season seven, she claimed to be pregnant, but here she is taking a sip of wine. Is she no longer pregnant, or was she never pregnant to begin with? She also likes to enjoy a glass of wine after destroying her enemies, so someone else may have just met their doom. When we see Jon run into battle, there's a quick shot of some horses galloping. But if you look closely, there's also a set of white paws, so it looks like we may see Jon's direwolf ghost once again. Noticeably absent from this trailer, Melisandre. Where is she? And can we expect to see her in season eight? We'll have to wait until April 14th to know anything for sure. Did you spot anything that we didn't? Let us know in the comments.